Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Tainted Grail, the Fall of Avalon. I am looking for. Is it over here? I am looking for the uh, for the museum. I think it's in here. I'm not sure. I have to go double check. I think it's in here. We're gonna go. I think it's down here. Yes. Here's the museum. Let's see if this dude. Uh, I heard you have a have the logbook from the Andraste. Is this true? Can I see it? Do you mean the document with information about the course, weather, position, and speed of the ship, as well as all of the stops and other occurrences kept by the captain or the first mate? I'm gonna stab you. specifically, the document from the bridge of the Andraste, which sank tragically in nearby waters in the year 513. Indeed, we have it. Please, wait here. All you had to do is say yes. Literally. Ah, here it is. Though I doubt those records will tell you anything, since the weirdness surrounding Avalon made sailing impossible. The knowledge of the precepts of navigation has been forgotten. Okay, so it's useless. There's no way of finding it. Oh, no. We know that. You should have mentioned that you're looking for the wreck of the Andraste rather than the logbook. Every keeper knows that the Andraste was swallowed by the ocean. It's near what's currently known as Smuggler's Bay. Here, I'll, I'll mark it on your map. Yes, please. Okay, so we've got that. Let me see here. Open up my inventory. Go to my bag. Go to our books. And it is this one. Alright, let me see here. Can I read this? Alright, Helmsman Noel insists that we saw a dark shape under the water and a fin the size of a sail. If I find that he's been drinking at the helm, he will not escape the consequences. I'll keep my eyes peeled just in case. It's been nothing but drizzle since dawn, and the wind makes every raindrop sting like a pin. Thankfully, we'll soon reach the southern coast. Okay, that's their course they're setting. The drizzle stopped sometime in the night, and the dawn welcomed us with pleasant weather. No sails on the horizon except... A few fishing boats near the Horns of the South. We are headed towards the Island of Asylum. It should be a short, peaceful journey. And that's all it says. Okay, hold on. Quest here. Um, I could have swore... That we had... That's the cemetery. Local medic asked me to perform druidic ritual. Yep, creed... Um, Sigibal's been dead, but I got his document, so I need to speak with Ron? Or no? Sigibal. Okay, I don't remember where he's at. Is there any way I can... I can mark this? It, it'd be nice if I could mark this on my map so I know which one to go to. Uh, let's see, I got the instructions on how to make the Sea Guller's Mask. Maybe this will help Gwyn... Pure morning. Herbert says all, that only a druid might have a chance to cure old Gobin. Let's see, darkness. Speak with the ones who were robbed. Uh, Helfin the traitor, Finley the mute, and Ron the innkeeper. I could have swore I did that. If I want to, I can ask the refugees for their take on the situation. I could have swore I did that as well. Drinking buddies. Finley marked a place on my map. Okay, so we have to go there. The 1%. Elisa asked me to check if someone's living in a manor by the sea. And evict them if needed. The last voyage. I know where to find the sunken wreck. Maybe it's time for a swim in freezing water. Silk Road. Find the supplier. Agreed to help that person. One of the refugees find her husband, Morris. Murder on demand. A uh, man sent from Camelot is paying bounties for each bandit. Okay. So I don't know why other than to come back for that book that I left the... Uh, can I not? Oh, I guess I can't open it because we're inside. I was going to fast travel. I guess I don't know why I left the, uh, the little flooded village. I thought the flooded village had something to do with it, but I guess I'm mistaken. I thought... I don't know what I thought, to be honest with you. 
we'll just go with that. We found out some stuff. Here we go. Uh, that's the Sunken Village. What is this? Sunken Village. Crypt of the Sewell, the first foot. Maybe it was, maybe that's what it was, was the crypt. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and zip back over here. So we're not going to go into the crypt, but I do want to explore the village a little bit more. Can I get up there somehow? I don't know if we can. There is... What is that out there? Is there anything in here? I'll take that. Iron ore. Iron ore. Pestilent spear. Piercing projectile can cause poison. Okay, I found... I don't know if that's a blueprint or what that is. Uh, yeah, quit, quit freezing up on me here, game. Some more iron ore. Nice. So how heavy am I at? I'm at 172. Uh, yes, of course we are heavy. We are most definitely heavy. I do got a handful of weapons. I should have, I didn't realize we had this many, this many, um, clothing items on me. I should have sold, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll just keep, we'll keep going. Maybe I'll find like a trader or something out here. Let's uh, let's swim out here a little ways. Let's let's follow this. Let's see what's going on. Baskets, nothing else out here. Let's go get some air. Broken gong. And now we are heavy. Of course we are. Okay. Um, can I can I fast travel while being heavy? Is that is that a thing? You cannot fast travel while encumbered. Of course not. What is this? Coin purse and mother's touch. Health regeneration spell. Ooh. Hey, there's a person over there. I see them. I don't remember them being over there a minute ago. Yeah, let me check these two boxes over here. Am I, am I stuck? Uh-oh. There we go. Now we're not stuck. Okay. Let me, let me come over here. Let's see. Who are you and what are you doing out here? Hob. Oh, no. A wanderer in the sunken village? You must be lost. Back in the day, you just needed to look at the stars. And you'd know where you were going. Now even they are misplaced. Hmm. Okay, who are you? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just an old man listening to the sound of the sea and looking into the ashes. It's all the same. It's important, at least for me. Long ago, I decided to wait for something to happen. So, I'm waiting. Waiting for what? For what's ahead of me. But I can feel that it's closer than ever. Everything that's around us. It's not yet the end. And that thought really bothers me. Okay, uh, you're not afraid of this place? It's the cycle of life. There's nothing to be afraid of. If you're afraid, it means you're struggling with something too much, my friend. Sometimes you just need to sit and look. Watch everything turn. The monsters here don't attack mm. you? Monsters. I think you misunderstand. I don't see any monsters here. Only lost villagers. Still clinging to their home. 
It's sad. But as you can see, not much depends on us. The world just keeps on happening. And you happen along with it. They were given some time which they've tried to use as much as they could. That's all. I'm glad they allow me to stay here despite what happened. I like this place. Uh, tell me about the sunken village. Beautiful scenery. <laughs> the sunken village was not always sunken. But one day, someone, undoubtedly important, made a decision, undoubtedly necessary, that it would be better to make it so. So the wave came and made the village into the sunken village. And its inhabitants... Well, you can see for yourself. I, I really don't like you when people try to talk in riddles like that. So you're saying that someone flooded the village? Mm-hmm. I know that some druids did it. Specific individuals, although their names have long been forgotten. This is no great mystery, my friend. Uh, why did the druids do You'd it? You have to ask those responsible for the flood. The, the ones that are dead? Who knows of what's course. going through people's heads. Maybe someone ordered them to do it. And we'll never know. Uh, what happened to the druids responsible for the mm. flood? That's a good question. Maybe they burned during the charred conclave. Maybe not. Nevertheless, the punishment was delivered and justice prevailed. Once again, the world was made a better place. At least, that's what those who set fire to the stakes preach. All in the name of the Word. The Red Priests are responsible for the massacre of the Druids. Among others. This wouldn't have happened if not for Camelot's desperation. Eh, many tragic decisions were made. I don't know if the word was so unambiguous, or if its interpretation failed. What happened on the fields of the Chart Conclave wasn't just about the Flood, my friend. It was about things and forces we don't understand. Uh, when the Flood takes place? Long enough ago for people to have no chance of discovering why it happened. Then why are and we talking about it? And yet recently enough that this place still reminds us of it. Perhaps I was sitting on the same deck then, eating my afternoon snack. Are you a ghost? Or perhaps I was begging on the cobbled streets of the royal city. In short, it doesn't matter. Now the village is what it is, and the past has washed away. At least it can still be home for them, and I'll stay and look. Hmm. These are interesting times indeed. Yeah, you, you did me no good. I have everything I need. The entire world. There is something you could help me oh, with. Oh, here we go. All a that talk for favor. a favor. I have a friend who made a home for himself in a pretty nice place. Quite a spacious cave underneath yep. the keep. I know Beautiful this dude. view. Peaceful and uh -huh. quiet. Every uh -huh. now and then, I brought dressed some fish so the poor guy wouldn't starve to death. Okay. If you would be so kind as to do it for me this time. I haven't been able to visit him for a while now. I met Dressed. He's alive and well. Oh. It's good to know that my friend isn't starving. Yes, I fed him... I fed him bread. Okay, so now... Now I've got to get... We, we've got a fast travel. I am... See, I wish I could open up a barrel or something and dump some of this stuff off. I don't know if items will stay if I drop them on the ground. So I guess this is going to be a good time to find out. And hopefully I don't drop anything too important and we, you know, lose something that we need. Um, let me see here. Let's go. Let's see. How many pounds over? We were at 180, so I got dropped five pounds. So let me do... That's a lot to pick back up, though, I guess. Let me drop that and that and that gets me under let me fast travel I'm gonna go sell everything hopefully the traders are still out you're back did you bring 
just open your shop. I gotta sell things. I don't have time for you asking about your thingy things. Alright. Weapons. Worn Battle Hammer. I'm getting rid of that. Broad Axe. Gla I'm gonna get rid of the Wood Cutting Axe. Um, I don't need these hammers. I don't think I need that mace. I don't need that. Nor that. I don't know if I need that short bow. Fishing rod, shovel, and then fire arrows. Okay, hold on to that. These are our spells. Oh, these are these are all magic things. Okay, yeah, hang on to that. And then let's just sell all of this. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. Okay, sell all that. I'm done. 87. Um, I've got, ew, yeah, I probably, that's probably, well, it says it's only 0 0.1, but I was going to say, I think I have a lot of food items and stuff that are probably going to end up weighing me down. I don't know. Those are readable. These are recipes. This is other. I don't know if I need tongs and uh, it says garbage, so I'm gonna sell that. Yep, all that is garbage. Those are tools, those are miscellaneous, and that's garbage as well. Okay, so we're still down to 82 pounds. There's not much more I can do, I don't think. Yeah, no, we have a bunch of ingredients. Okay, well, on the bright side of things, at least we have a little bit of weight off of us. So let me go back here. You know, I didn't notice the, uh, so it didn't, it didn't keep them. No, so when you drop something, you drop it for good. Okay, yeah, because they would have been right here. All right, well, we know now, don't drop things on the ground because you will lose them. And, of course, it's getting night. And I'm in in this place. Is there nowhere I can like rest or sleep around here to fast forward it to daytime? I don't believe there is. Okay, so those aren't ladders. Oh, I made it up on the thingy in. Haha. <laughs> You know, that's one thing I didn't look at. Do we have, like, a ton of hide? I bet we do. I don't know where it'd be at. But I bet you we do. Yes, we have wolf pelts. Red cap. Hmm. And I can't climb that. Broke a pick. There it is. Got some blueberries. Got some more moonshine.
Oh, something's coming. I guess he's up here. Oh yeah, there he is right there. Okay. Let me come back here and finish searching what I need to search. Got butter, got some garlic, got some spirits. Last breath. Got fish and whiskey. All I need is some flour. If I get flour, I can make mom's pie. Oh, we can rest up here. Nice. Alright, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's go ahead and rest for like six hours, I guess. See what time that brings us to. Eh, it's kind of getting daylight. I guess. It, I don't know. The it, It's a weird thing here with the, with the skies and all that. Why is that going here? That's weird. Okay. Oh, that dude. Can I can I get a bow out? No. needs a little bit of improvement let's try not to fall off of this oh ah, that was easy enough I like it like literally there's a Sun but yet, it is so dark. I don't understand. Is it the weirdness? Is that what's making it look all gloomy? There must be someone above me. exactly sure how I'm supposed to get up there I can't I can't scale this can I no huh can't scale it I don't see a hatch I don't see any form of ladder not that I know of anyway I mean it it looks like I should be able to climb through all this, but it doesn't let me. Okay, so I guess no. How do I get down?
goblin ring. Oh, golden ring. Sorry. I thought it said goblin. My bad. No, it's the dirty dude that goes boom. What did I call it? The flame gobbler? Huh, I don't know where his his remains landed so I could loot them. Okay. Oh, there's a dude in the corner. Okay, so did I need to drop down from the top to get there? Maybe. Would not surprise me. Uh oh, a little lag. Those have to be bathrooms. Oh, we got a body. Ooh, I just found flower. Nice. Ambergris fragment increases max health by 10. Yes, please. 100% yes, please. Um, how do I use it? Equip. Okay, I guess I equipped it. Oh, okay, so it equips over there. Why do I not have a shirt on? Did I seriously sell the armor that I was wearing? Oh, I messed up. I so messed up. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the stuff I was wearing was, like, much better than what this is. But, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. We will deal with it. Alright, how heavy am I again? We're at 115. Alright, so we can still keep going. We can explore a little bit further. Um, I guess into the water? Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, there's a camp over here of some sort. Are you friend or foe? You look like foe. You're finished. Made a big mistake. Did I? Because like you're not doing anything. <laughs> what in the world? I clicked. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna be like that again. I got gotcha. you. I literally clicked to block, and she didn't fully, fully bring her shield out. That's that's lovely. That is lovely. Now, how far back are we going to be? Are we at the beginning of the game? Or because I haven't, I haven't saved. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, that's the one thing, guys. Save, always save, repeatedly save. It'll save save you so much headache. 
Yeah, I have no clue where it's going to put me. For all I know, we're at the very beginning of everything. We'll see. Come on. You can do it. We are... Uh, I am up here on the wall. So was it before we jumped, I'm assuming? Oh, well that's... No, it was the first time. I think either that or I missed that stuff. So we've got all that. Let me run out here. We dive into the water again. Okay. So I think I'm pretty sure we can take that person. Well, I, I say that I'm, I'm pretty sure we could have took that person if, uh, If I had a shirt on that was decent. Hold on. Go back to equipment here. No, wrong one. Put that on. Did I not get the amber gris? Hold on. Where is... Those are just rings. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did I not collect... Or does it change? Ooh, maybe it's random. Maybe it changes... Hold up. I'm going to be a little aggravated if it if it did that to me. That was like 10 health I lost there. Yeah, she has nothing on it on her. So the amber so it does change. Okay, well that that's hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit of a rough one there. I did not realize that that could happen. All right. Well, um Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. Increases encumbrance by 25. You know what? Go ahead and just put that on there. That way I can carry a little bit more. Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Let me drop... Let me drop the pickaxe. And I want... Oh, do I not have any more of the wolf thing? Oh, we must have. So I guess these are just one touch uses. Oh, no, there's the wolf's call right there. Uh, pushes enemies. What does this one do? Luminous flower. Projectile can cause poison damage. Eh. Okay, so I'm not the best of archers, but I think we can do this right here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Run! And I uh, already already using up stuff, huh? Okay. Um twenty five health, yeah, do do that one. I don't make you pay for that. Seriously? Yeah, our dude is so squishy. He, oh, I really need a less squishy dude. I don't make you pay for that. You survived that? No. Got to heal again. Healing simulator nine thousand. Uh, 
and heal again. I've really got to learn which button is the quick heal. All you got. And there we go. Okay. I'm sorry, lady. Your uh, your neck looks kind of broken there. Um, do we got do we got better armor? Can I switch out to something better? Uh, of course, the assassin's tunic was only a seven. Uh, of course, it was. What about hood? Minus ten noise. Oh yeah, switch to the assassin hood. And I'll keep my armor. So if we go full on assassin gear, we can we can be quieter, but we lose a lot of armor. So I'm not gonna do that, with the exception of the hood. All right, let's do let's do our character. Let's see. I really I really want more health. I really think I need more health. Yeah, let's do that. So we're up to 75 health, right? Come on, apply. 85 health. There we go. And we've got one point. Um, let's see. Using a shield and weapon reduces stamina cost by 15. Let's do that. Uh -huh. There we go. This way I don't run out of stamina quite so quickly. Oops, broke that one. And there it is. Okay. We are going to make the uh, the meal here real fast. Um, let's see, what was it? It was mom's pie right there. Craft up, craft up mom's pie. Okay, so mom's pie is made. So we can return to the keep and give that guy mom's pie. Now I've got, once again, I've got to remember who it was that asked for it. And just like in Skyrim and every other game, I am going to completely loot the tables and take everything that's not nailed down. Okay, so where am I at? I am right here. That's the 1% mission up there. Yep, I thought I saw a marker right there. Hold on, let me go over here. Now we can fast travel to the east travel point. Alright, let's go back to the keep. And here we are. Alright, now who was it that wanted the pie? Was this guy? Give mom's pie. Mmm, yes. Still tastes like shit. Oh. Exactly how my mother would make it. It's just what I needed. Okay. Um, if you say oh, so. don't get me wrong. I, I really appreciate what you did for me. It's just that every time I doubt my service in the horns of the south, I need a reminder of why I enlisted. Okay, your mother wasn't much of a cook? My mother wasn't much of anything, to tell the truth. She always said I was good for nothing, and that I should be glad she even kept me. And every day, she'd bring back home a new uncle. Yeah. Many of those uncles liked to kick me out of my own house when they were drinking and getting busy. Alrighty then. Then, when she'd sober up, got rid of an 
uncle, she'd bake me that pie as an apology. It always tasted like shit. If the other villagers hadn't been feeding me, I would have starved to death. Hence the pie. Uh huh. Uh, what happened to your I mom? No. <laughs> when I left my village, I decided to never look back. So I just assume one of those uncles finally beat her to death. Yep. Okay. Well, we got experience for it, so that's cool. And I guess while we're here, let's go ahead and sell. Let's see. So we got a spine breaker. I think I wanted to keep that. Ooh. Yeah, I want to keep that shield. I'm not on sell, am I? I am not on sell. Uh, of course I'm not on sell. I knew something wasn't right. Uh, we've got leather pants or the Dollarita's kilt. Um, give me one second here, guys. Okay, well, now that we've had our oopsies. I don't know, I might want to keep those leather pants. So, let's hang on to them. Um... We'll get rid of that. That's better than what I have, so I want to keep it. So I guess, I guess the purchase wasn't completely bad, uh, and apparently we get a movement speed while outside of combat, so that's cool. Yeah, sell all of that. Sell that. Sell that. Yeah, I don't really care about the traveler's boots. I mean, I don't know if we're going to need rings for anything, but I'm just going to go ahead and sell those, get rid of them. Who knows, we might be able to enchant stuff, and I might have messed up, but eh, if we did, we did. Uh, let's see, Mystic's Touchstone grants an additional 50% damage if your mana is full. Interesting. And I don't know crafting reagents, so those are all crafting reagents. All right. I was about to say, I'm not sure what to do with the, uh, with the wolf pelts and all that, but I think, I think we'll just kind of leave it as it is. We'll, we'll get up here. All right, here we are back here. This is the house that they want us to evict someone from. Mansion by the beach. Can we get off of whatever it is I'm stuck on? And we're going in. Okay, okay. So this is probably going to be a much bigger building that I th oh there are bodies laying around um are corpse yep hold on before we go anywhere and do anything else yep let me switch to that and you know what let me let me look real fast while we're sitting here let me see where is the controls um, load out one, two, three, four, five. That's not what I want. Skill tree, quest log, toggle weapon, take items, filter, use wheel. Q. Oh, so that's where our stuff is. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, Uncle Edward uh, Edeard is gone. I know I should at least pretend to mourn him, but I cannot bring myself to do even that. I feel relief, just like I did when I felt that horrid place, when I left that horrid place never to look back. Now Blackthorn Manor stands empty with no one left to take residence within its dreary walls. The impeding decay of the ancestral home weighs heavily on my so soul, yet I cannot bring myself to do anything to save it. My mind keeps going back to the utter misery of my childhood after Aunt's whatever's disappearance. I remember hiding in the coldest, furthest corners of the manor, not to listen to maids gossiping and uh, frat fratricide. My mother, wouldn't it be fratronizing? I don't know, fratricide, whatever. My mother despairing about being the wife of a reputed sister slayer, or reputed sister slayer, sorry. 
her screams echoing through empty corridors, my father wailing through the night and mumbling to himself during the day. Uncle Adeard once slapped him so hard he bled. My father was not a good man, and he was not a bright man either, yet Adeard surpassed him in cold ruthlessness. I am afraid that whatever happened to Aunt Elidith was far more sinister than a simple murder and consequences could have still been reversible had my father not taken this secret to his grave. Instead, my father, Fearchar Argal, became the first victim of his own foolishness. Okay. Well, whatever. We're going to rob the place as we make sure we empty it. Use the basement key. All right, well, I'm not going to the basement just yet. Clear the shelves. Can I take the paint? Oh, that's a lovely painting. It won't let me take the painting. Coin and moonshine. And what is what is this room supposed to be? Is that supposed to be windows? Like I don't even know what that is. So for a for a manor, I don't know if I would call this a manor. I mean, it has one little like window room thing right there, and then this is like a main room. And that's kind of it. I mean, it's a step above, like, a hovel, I would say. Probably two steps above a hovel, since it has a basement. But, yeah, it just... It, I don't know. The top floor seemed to be lacking. I don't know what you are, and nor do I trust you. Who are you? Did my brother send you? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but I don't know your That's brothers. Right. You wouldn't. Because they're dead. I remember now. I'm just... confused. I feel like I've been trapped here forever. But I've no way to tell. No sun rises, no sunsets, no passing seasons. They might as well have locked me in a tomb. Yeah. Who are you? My name is Ailey. I had two brothers. I love... Loved them. Very much. Sadly, they never loved me. Only what I gave them. Whether willingly or not. Eh? Ah, uh, that's not true. Your niece wrote in her diaries that Farcher was ravaged with guilt. And yet he kept me imprisoned here. He knew that the moment he set me free, I would die and all of his wealth would disappear. Oh. What good is guilt if the only thing you do is wallow in it? Maybe he didn't want to lose you? Maybe he should have thought about it before he killed me. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Every home needs a heart. This one, even more so than others. When a heart dies, the home dies with it. Except that couldn't be allowed. Not truly. Tell me, do any of my brother's descendants still live here? No, the manor has been abandoned for decades. To better answer your question, I was imprisoned. And then I was forgotten. Oh, how I wish I could finally be free of this place. I know it means I will die, but I deserve it. Don't I? I deserve to be at peace. Uh, what do you need? If it's so simple, why has nobody freed you yet? What'll happen then? Um, if it's so simple, eh, what do you need? I just need you to remove my heart. Nothing more. So I can stab it? Uh, let's see. Hold on one second here, guys. If it's so simple, why has nobody freed you? What will happen I then? I will die. Hopefully this cursed house will die with me. Okay. Oh, what in the world is going on here? I know. Where? I know my heart couldn't be moved. But thank 
you for trying. You have proven that there is at least a piece of your heart that is pure, unlike mine, broken and tainted by my brother's betrayal. But I will put it back, piece by piece, until it is as free and pure as it used to be. Don't worry. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I don't understand what is going on here. I probably should have grabbed the book first, but okay, let's see what happens. Uh, huh? I'm outside. Oh, the house burnt down or something. Okay, so there's not even a way to get up there. Um, huh. Well, I hope that's what they wanted because that is what they got. And yeah, I'm not. I'm not even sure. I grabbed, like I said, I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and that's about all. All right, guys. Well, I guess it's once again back to the keep and. Uh, I'll go talk to the lady tomorrow about uh, about the house, and we'll see what she has to say about it, because I have a feeling she's probably not going to be happy that the house burnt down, but at the same time, it was possessed by an evil dryad, so, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Hey, they got new stuff this time. Um, you know what? I st oh, that's a heavy shield. Ooh. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to buy that shield, but I don't know about that. I don't know if I want that. Um, sell. Sell that. Weapons. Broadsword. Machete. Wolf's Fang. We might hang on to that. Woodcutter's Axe. Pickaxe. Fishing Rod. Get rid of a shovel. And then we have those two arrows. 5 to 16. 5 to 16. Yeah, get rid of that. All right, guys. Well, I do believe that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. If you guys would like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.